Today I am in Drumheller. It's about an hour and 20 minutes east of Calgary. <clears throat> and there's the Tyrell Museum here. It's a big dinosaur museum. I haven't been there since I was a child. I don't think I'm gonna go in today. My plan, my plan today is to go hiking, exploring, see what kind of stuff I can get up to. Um, I'm currently at, in the parking lot of Friesen Bros, a grocery store, because I didn't bring any food with me. So I need to pick up some food, uh, maybe a little bit of Gatorade. I have lots of water, but it's supposed to be 30 degrees today. So I might, I, I might need all that extra liquid. Um, so that's gonna be my day. I'm gonna be exploring. I'm gonna be hiking and um, seeing what else I can find here. It's pretty small. I had to Google grocery stores. I was thinking there'd be like a superstore. There is not a superstore. So that's why I'm here. Um, yeah, Let's see what I can get up to today. This is the grocery store I'm at. There's a huge dinosaur in the front of it. I haven't made it very far at all. Um, I washed the truck and I saw a sign for downtown. So I said, um, let me explore downtown. It's uh, that street there. And it looks like that street there. There's not much going on here. Um, I did see that they had a rotisserie, coffee rotisserie. So I'm going to stop there and get beans because I'm in a coffee club and we all take turns every quarter to buy three different coffees. So while I'm here, I might as well um, get beans. And I'll explore some of these stores. So yeah, that's what I'm doing. walked around the entire downtown. It took me like 12 minutes, so it wasn't very big. Got the coffee for our coffee club. And it's called Albertosaurus. And it's a, a darkish roast blend. And I bought it because it was Albertosaurus and we live in Alberta, so why not? distracted by other things so I'm not sure uh, where I'm going but I would like to turn around so I can go to this um, tourist center and I also need to get gas because uh, if I'm gonna be driving around all over the place just uh, looking at shit I should probably get gas also not gonna get gas at this gas station because it looks sketchy and I don't trust it so I'm going to turn around um, everyone here is super nice super nice I'm gonna turn around and look for a shell gas station or like an SO or something a bigger one but what I noticed driving around here is all the streets are dinosaur trail, trian, tri, triath, tri, tyrannosaurus rex road, 
everything is like a dinosaur names. So it's pretty cute. Got gas. I have enough gas. I stopped at uh, visitor information. And it seems that I have a lot of things to do today. I have this whole map that they gave me and highlighted. Like, there's a lot of things to do, and I plan on doing all of them, except the museum. I'm not going to the museum today. I won't go to the museum today. But I'm going to Horse Thief Canyon, Blariot Ferry. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I take the ferry, I go across the Red Deer River. I don't know what's across there, but I'm gonna find out. Then I go to Orkney Viewpoint, and he said, there's a thing I have to stop by this circle. There's a little church. Then I have to drive down Highway 9 to Horseshoe Canyon. Um, and then at the very end, I'm gonna go down to the Hoodoos. And that's what I'm gonna do. So I plan on doing all of them. I have food. I have gas, have water, I don't know how to get anywhere, but I'm just gonna follow the signs because there's a lot of signs and this is gonna be my adventure today. It's gonna be a good adventure. First of my stops, the little church. It's super, super tiny. Like, that's the top. I don't know how many people it fits inside. I'm gonna go six. I bet you can't even open the door. Let's try. <gasps> the door opens? Oh, it's pretty creepy. Because it's so tiny. Peace to all who enter. So it looks like it fits six people. It's super tiny. Okay, we're leaving church now because I don't want to be in here by myself. First stop on the little uh, adventure I'm taking. It was a tiny little church. Uh, it fits six people, and uh, that was about it. But I stopped, I saw it, and now I can say I've been to the smallest church in Drumheller. I didn't sit down because I didn't want to sit by myself, but. I went in, walked all the way in, walked all the way back. Now uh, I'm driving to the Blariot Ferry. Oh, golf course. Oh, this is such a nice golf course. Oh, I wish I had golf and stuff. I had golf. Um, I'm not going to today, obviously. Just gonna drive to the ferry and um, See where the ferry goes.
I've had to change because well, it's really hot today and I wasn't about to wear my pants when hiking because it's hot. So I'm about to go exploring all through down there. Um, have water, apples, strawberries. Um, what else do I have? I didn't put much in my bag right now because I'm gonna stop like a few places today. And I'm not particularly hungry right now, so I thought I'd just bring the water and start my wander. Probably should have brought my hiking boots. Um, instead, I chose to bring my Nikes. It's a little bit rough, the terrain. Okay, I will make it work. That is what I have. My goodness. Gosh, this is beautiful. even found a cactus over here. I thought I only found one cactus over there, but then I found this one. <laughs> and then they're down there. They're like all the way down here. All the way down there. So cool. I don't know why I feel like this is so cool. I think it's because we live in Alberta and it snows and it's minus 50 here. Like we have the strangest climate, minus 50 to 40s, hot desert. Wandered around hiking up and down for about an hour. There's some really cool things up here. The rocks look super cool. The formations, it's so beautiful. But this is why I now wish I had my hiking boots. Most of it was like easy dirt path. This is not, it's like big rocks. So I'm gonna do this in my running shoes. I didn't think this one through so well, but I'm glad that I brought shorts. I wasn't gonna bring shorts. I was just gonna bring like wear what I had, which was leggings. And then I looked at the temperature and it said it could be 30. And I was like, oh girl, you're gonna need shorts. So I brought shorts, sunscreen, runners, all the things. Oh boy, it's hot. Hot to be hiking around. for the ferry right now um, it's just docked well I don't even know if you'd call it a ferry it looks like a bridge that moves so shaped like a bridge not shaped like a ferry and it just goes from one side to the other so it's literally a moving bridge and it's got cables on either side and it kind of guides it so the bridge doesn't float away so See how this little ferry ride goes. I'm kind of 
glad I'm not the first one because I would be scared. I think I have to turn the car off. I don't know. Do I have to shut the car off? I know you don't have to. Okay, thank you. You can get out. So this gentleman's doing all the work. Those are all of the cables. They're on the other side too. But. He says it takes about four or five minutes to cross and he can fit about 11 cars. So you'd never guess that we're actually moving. It's very slow. It's... I don't know what that noise was. It didn't sound good. I hope we don't sink. I can swim. It's okay. I've had a busy day. I have been everywhere on the list. Like just about everywhere. That was on this map that the guy kindly drew all over. I went to all the places. I am now, um, I found a nice park because I'm hungry. I haven't eaten because it was so hot I didn't want to eat. So I found a nice park. I am going to lay out a blanket. I found a park with flat grass. It looks really nice, it's shady. And I'm going to eat my dinner. I might have a nap, like a quick one, because I still have to do the hoodoos. <laughs> That's the last thing I have left to do and I was leaving that to the last, so. Um, I'm going to do the hoodoos after this. This is the park that I'm at. It's so pretty. So this is the park that I found. Um, the river is that way. I'm going to go over there. Um, this little gazebo looks so pretty. So I'm going to go there. But, um, this is where I'm going to hang out and eat dinner. And I have a book, so I might actually read for a little bit too. Here's the little gazebo. It's really pretty. Someone's taken the time and planted all these flowers. It looks quite nice. I'm not sitting in there unless it starts raining, which uh, doesn't look like rain anytime soon. This is where I have chosen. <sighs> yep, this is where I've chosen. So, um, at the Hoodoos, you have to pay $2 for parking, which I did not know about, but I actually saw a toonie in a bag that I had somewhere today. So when I pulled up, the girl was like, that's $2. And I was like, okay, just give me a sec. I gotta like find the toonie. I saw a toonie somewhere today. And I'm in the back. And she said, oh, you know what, sweetheart? It's gonna be a lucky day. I'm gonna let you park for free. I parked for free, $2. Save two dollars today. So this is my last stop for the day. Um, let's see what the hoodoos are gonna do to me. Ooh, the bugs are unreal here, man. Ooh. So I feel like hoodoos are all sand. Like they're cool as fuck. So I'm going to walk this way and go back up that way and I'm going to try and get all the way to the top so I can see what kind of views we have there because I seem to like, seem to like views, tall views, I like them. So they're really cool though, like they just look like sand. I just don't know how they stay 
for so long if it's just it's like super hard sand update I wanted to walk around there and walk up there but clearly I can't so I'm now just going to wander to wander just to see what kind of things I can see The rocks are super cool. I know they don't look that cool <laughs> on video, but they look like wood. Like if you get close, this part looks like wood, but it's just rock. The rocks are so cool. That little white line, that's where they're filming that something. Filming something like, look how cool these are. They're so cool. Not all of the rocks are cool, just like those ones. Like you could wander around in here for hours, but I'm glad I came now because it's not super, super hot. Well, it's still hot, but not like stupid hot. I can't get up any higher. It's like almost flat. If I maybe had brought my uh, hiking boots, I probably would have been okay. But because I brought my runners, uh, it's slippery and I, I don't want to fall because I'm, I am by myself. So if something were to happen to me, who's going to know I'm out here? How am I going to get help? I'm going to have to chew my own arm off if I get stuck in a crevice. Like, it's just not smart. So I came as high as I could go and I will have to be happy with that today. But I almost got to the top. It's pretty close. Next time. Next time I will um, next time I will bring hiking shoes for sure.